I got called back. They're gonna check my eyes one more time. The doctor's gonna come in and see me. And my heart just dropped. <laughs> I was fine. And then my heart just dropped just now when they call me. So. So I'm super late like always and my body hurts and I'm starting to get a little nervous. I gotta take my anxiety pills really quick um, cause I'm really scared. I'm scared right now. But I got a little Tasmanian devil with me. Or Tas. Right here. <laughs> so Tas, we might have to wait down here cause That's just fine. cause of COVID. I don't know if they want people in the waiting room. They're gonna bring out all the Girl, no. <laughs> you see that girl just got done. <laughs> Silly. Not the wheelchair. Come in. <laughs> so, yeah. It's up there, so I'm gonna go up there. Oh, yeah, you could probably wait right there. Hi, I'm checking in. I'm. I called that I was running late. Okay, what's the last one? Vasco Mora. Did you bring back those consent forms as well with you? No, I don't. I got my consultation done a while back, so I don't have. I don't have anything. Sorry, and then. I might be here all day, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you. It's like a couple people sitting. I already went in and I was late. Um, so, I don't know if I should tell, tell her about Taz. So she has to sit downstairs the whole time. But let me fill out these forms. gonna be here for this long but it's a lot of people here so I've been here an hour so far I just got done doing like my check-in and like my payment and stuff so they gave me this little green bag that has everything that you need so their vitamins their drops like regular drops and then like sterilized drops um, for aftercare and just like what you can do what you can do with your eye shield things like that um so now it's just a waiting game they tell me i can't take any anxiety or any type of medicine until i see the doctor so i'm just sitting here waiting but i was rushing and i forgot my charger y'all so this nice guy on the other side of the wall let me is letting me use his charger so i'm letting my phone charge for a little bit because this is craziness like how do i forget my charger i could have bought my laptop too i could have been working on some other videos but it's cool and I'm really tired so that's great because I'm supposed to nap for four hours afterwards and it's looking by the time I get out it's gonna be dark <laughs> so I'm gonna fall asleep with no problem but yeah I'll check in afterwards but now it's just a waiting game oh I did I, I brought cash to pay girl yes I paid I was gonna pay all cash but they do offer um, other financial payment plan so they have care credit and um an in-house payment plan so i was like what the hell let me just apply for care credit just just for the shits and giggles and i was approved but way more than my surgery so i was like i might as well do that because i have 12 months 
interest free. So why would I spend 4,000 right now in one minute when I could just pay it over 12 months and still pay the same amount that I was gonna pay today? You gotta think smarter, okay? So yeah, I end up doing that. So I'll probably just pay, I'll probably do like a thousand a month. We'll see, whatever I feel like doing. I don't like having too much stuff in my credit, so that's why I like to pay stuff all fast. Um, but yeah, it's just a waiting game at this point. I had a whole meal. I'm glad I brought this, because I would've been hungry. Because after the gym, I just had a, a shake. But I'm super sore too. Oh, and I don't know how my job gonna take it that I can't wear makeup for like a week. Y'all know, they be honest about the makeup at work, so. But yeah, I'll check it. Okay, so I got called back. They're gonna check my eyes one more time. The doctor's gonna come in and see me. And my heart just dropped. <laughs> I was fine. And then my heart just dropped just now when they called me. So. But I just got done, y'all. And I legit almost shit my pants. Like, literally. Like, I shit my pants because it doesn't matter how much people will tell you what will happen, how many videos you watch. It, like, the experience is just something only you can experience. Like, I'm gonna try to describe it word by word for you guys, but like I said, it's just something that only you would know like how it's gonna feel. I really can't see, so I'm just waiting for um, Taz to come. I just called her. Okay, um, I'm gonna go outside because I feel like um, it's nice out and the way my heart is feeling like because I low key was just freaking myself out so um one you're awake obviously two your eyes are numb so you don't feel anything but it's just your eyeball it's not your eyelid so you still feel the pressure and everything so it's like a two-step thing basically they put all the guy guide this in your eye and you feel pressure on your eyes. That was nothing because I'm used to that. Like I feel like I'm always putting contacts on, putting um eyelashes on, everything like the pressure and all that doesn't really oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't be in the sun after I just got LASIK eye surgery. So we're gonna go back down until she gets here. Ah, can I take this mask off? Oh, this hurts. Oh my goodness. All right, hold on, we're gonna try this again in a second. Okay. So, uh, my eyes are so heavy right now. Like the best way I can describe it is like when you eat an edible or you smoke and your eyes just feel like a thousand tons. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Um, I couldn't really keep them open on the drive home either. So, I'm supposed to go to sleep for four hours anyway. So, I think that's why they say. So, I am at my follow-up. Um, I got here really late because I was I had to go to the gym. Then I did, like, this body sculpture thing. Um, so, my trainer has his own gym, and he has suites. And then there's a girl there that does that. And I really just wanted it for the soreness on my stomach. But, child. My follow-up was really quick. I was here in less than ten minutes. Um, I have no side effects, no after effects. Like some people, she just told me that this is why they don't tell, don't disclose it to people that things may happen like afterwards. Cause I've heard people have sand in their, it feels like they have sand in their eyes. feels like they have, um, glass in their eyes, very swollen, things like that. Like when I walked in, the kid that was there with me yesterday, he happened to be there and he looked at like he just went through hell. And I'm just like, oh my God, are you okay? He was like, yeah, I feel fine. I'm like, oh, well, your eye. And he was like, yeah, I'm very swollen and all this. So um, my 
actual eyeball is still swollen she just said she said it should be going down because my left eye isn't at the vision that they expected it to be so they said follow up in a week because probably the swelling x y and z as you can see i do have like little vessels like blood vessels in the eye just from um I don't know the needles I guess but besides that I didn't have no swelling around my eyes um my eyes don't feel dry whatsoever um I'm bad honey they're talking about I can't wear makeup and stuff but psh, I'm ready to slap some makeup on my eyes and keep it pushing but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna take my post up very serious um I know I was describing a little bit yesterday um how the whole procedure went how they walk you in they dilate you they numb your eyes but they don't numb your eyelids so you still have some feeling on here they put like this round suction cup type of thing on your eye and you can see them with the needle and all this like moving things around you can see all that happening but you can't feel it and then they tell you, you guys stay very still and i'm just like like it's just scary it's not even that it's scary it's just like very nerve-wracking and just weird because they go from one machine to another and then it's like you don't like you don't know what's gonna happen next so next thing you know you know when you go to the eye doctor and they check your vision they do the little the little air it's like i'm thinking that's gonna happen at any moment but you know when people are in your eyes that is that it's not yourself your natural your natural reaction is to flinch so i'm trying my best to stay still and not flinch but once again that's tough so um like i said they do all the stuff in one machine then they're like okay you're kind of blurry move slowly we need to move you over to the other machine that machine right there i thought i had a aliens was kidnapping me at this point because i'm looking and you see all the little lights and like all these figures like it felt like a movie it felt like um what's that netflix show mirrors black mirrors I felt like that. Like, it was very weird. I was like, what's going on? So, at one point, I guess that's when the the actual LASIK, the laser was happening. Because you could smell, like, you could smell your, your eyeball, like, being, zzz, like, <laughs> it's weird to explain. I hope I don't freak nobody out with this. But I, I do have to say, it was a very smooth procedure. Dr. Smith, he... He knows off rip that everybody's nervous and on edge and he just calms everybody down and he's just like I'm here with you. He walks you through it. He's like, okay, just breathe X, Y, and Z, but it's done in and out. I think the procedure, the whole thing took maybe five minutes, not even. And even like the next day, um, I was a little worried, but my eyes were so heavy. Like you would have thought I, I ate five edibles and I was on like... I couldn't keep my eyes open and like my friend was driving home she's like are you okay you have a hand on your hand like do you have a headache I was like no like I just can't stay up right now so I went home and I fell asleep for them four hours like they said too and I woke up just fine I woke when I woke up I was a little blurry but then I was I was good to go and apparently I just been wearing my sunglasses just cuz cuz they're like yeah you don't have to wear your sunglasses unless you're outside <laughs> so I've been in the house I went to the gym <laughs> I was literally sunglasses this whole time so but yeah I'm happy like I'm really happy I did this so that was my day for today I'm just gonna go home and rest up um maybe dinner later tonight um I need to do some of my hair oh psh, my bag came in the mail <sighs> It's as big as this, it looks on camera, y'all. This is my new everyday bag because I'm starting to realize that my little Louis bag is not cutting it. Like, it holds a lot, but especially with me traveling to the gym and going back and forth and work, like, y'all be knowing I'm having shoes, makeup bag, all that now with me. So, um, I, ha I got the big Teflon bag and it is huge, but it's perfect. So I just got done with my one week, um, my one week post-op appointment. 
and it was really quick i wasn't even able to record like i thought i was going to just because as soon as i get in and check in i don't even sit down they're like okay come on back like and everything's really quick they pretty much just look at your eyes they have you read the letters and see what you can read when you can't um she told me i still have some bruising in my left eye um because that's my eye that had the most astigmatism so um but it was really quick uh I'll be answering all your guys' questions along with this video, but one week, I feel great. I feel like it was the best decision I made so far, honestly. Like, I don't know why it took me so long to finally get it done, but I'm really happy with my results. And she said that, you know, it's going to improve over time and just continue to um, use my eye drops, which my medicated eye drops, I was on top of that because I don't play. Like, if it's medicated, I have to make sure I'm on it. So I was doing those consistently for the week, four times a day. But then they give you artificial eye drops as well. And those, I'm like, because I feel like if I don't need them, what am I going to be using them for? But she was like, no, you have to stay on top of it. Because just because your eye doesn't feel like it's dry or anything like that, you still have some bruising and things like that that needs to clear up. And those drops are going to help that. So I think I'm just going to try to buy the same brand, but in an actual bottle. Because what they gave me, let me see if I have some with me actually. What they gave me, which is a three-month surprise, but this is what they look like. This is annoying because they don't come out. Like, I'm literally having to push on it really hard. Or I'm always having to ask somebody, can you put these uh, um, drops in my eyes really quick? Like, it's, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. So, if I can just find these artificial ones in the actual, like, bottle, I'm just going to do that. So, I can make sure I'm using them free more frequently. But, um... Like I said, everyone here is really nice. Um, I do have like a referral thing, so if anyone wants to get it, I can send you guys as a referral. Um, this is not sponsored or anything like that. I brought, I not not brought, but I paid for my procedure to get done. So one week, I feel great. I feel like it was the best decision I made so far, honestly. Like I don't know why it took me so long to finally get it done, but I'm really happy with my results.